for YouTube. All right. Dave Smalley, welcome to Geek's Garage. Got some toys. Got some toys. Let's take a look at the new toys. Uh, one of these was about five bucks. One of these was about ten bucks. Uh, hopefully I don't cut the product itself. Sometimes these work, sometimes they don't. Tear here. Oh, look at that. It worked. Ooh, I got two. Why are there two? That don't make sense. That don't make sense. Huh. There's two in here. Uh, I ordered one of each. <laughs> All right. So, what these are. They're ready to try them. These are stick-on rulers. That I will be using on the table saw and the miter saw. Okay, so this one goes 23, 24. So this is a normal left to right. All right, so this zero will be, all right, here's the blade, here's the curve of the blade. So this zero will be on this side of the blade and stretch on out. Okay, so that is my this is a left to right. Does, does it say this? No. And I made sure and got imperial and standard. And if you get them in, excuse me, imperial is standard. I got them in metric and imperial or standard. All right, so this is left to right. Let's see what the next one is. This also should be left to right. These two came from the same package. <laughs> it blows me away that they give me two. Uh, so 23, 24, reading from left to right also. Uh, and this fit in the same package. Yes, it can. All right, Ruby. Um, I reuse plastic bags like the crazy man. Very, very handy. Uh, you may have noticed, well, here, uh, this video is about upgrading my miter saw. There's the old screws that came out of the miter saw in a Ziploc bag. So having different size bags is cute to me. And, uh, okay, so for this one, I put an old business card in it and wrote miter saw, so it's really easy to see what the hell it is. So stash this one, open the, well here, let's open this one. These should both be right to left, I hope. Let's take a look at what we have. 23, 24, so it's reading from right to left. So again, we have our blade curve, the width of the blade. So this zero is going to start on this side of the blade and go that way. Very cool. Okay, so this is my right to left. Make sure this one is also a rack. I, I thought I was buying one each. I, I guess I'm not a very good reader. And this one is right to left, 21, 22, right to left. Right to left. Okay, so these are both right to left. Very cool. So as I get further along in this process, I'll be doing that. I'm a little concerned about how accurate I will be. So this one is right to left. Okay, I got left to right and right to left. Groovy. Very cool. And I got some spare Ziploc bags. I can remember when I worked in the oil refinery, the guys used to tease me about 
how neat I was at saving plastic bags. So I've been doing this for 40 some years. All right, uh, got lots of plastic bags. Okay, where will I put these and I can find them again? I'll uh, throw them up in here right under the light. All right, that's cool, that's cool, I like it. Uh, and I didn't even need, oh, these things. Can't buy them anymore. Husky, I think they're Harbor Freights. Uh, their current ones are not as good as these. These are amazing. He puts tools away. Can you believe it? He actually put a tool away. All right, so, uh, title of this video is Upgrade Miter Saw Part 3. Uh, Facebook only saw one whole piece. The strange phone shut off and then kicked itself back in again. It was about an hour long video that got cut into two, 45 and 16. Strange. I don't know why I did that. All right, so uh, let's clean this off. These, um, these soft brush things, these are really great. For getting sawdust out of the way. I can see the sawdust building up underneath there. All right. Why do I feel like I don't have as much light tonight? Oh, because this goes out here. Amazing. Every little bit makes a difference. Okay. Now, yesterday, last night, that was Friday night, this is Saturday. I got one step of my cut done, and now I need another step here. Problem. This fence No, I'm okay. This is the depth I need. So the fence is goes back far enough. Now I've got to bring the tool up higher. It's my challenge. Okay, so my tool came up to this point, now it needs to come up to this point. And I need to go back to that approximately eighth inch at a time, slowly moving into it. So, well, first number one, let's set the height. I'm sorry if you guys see in the back of my head in this challenge process. Sorry, let's open this up. <coughs> this allows my uh, bit to slide up and down. Let's uh, slide her up a bit. It's easiest when I push it up and then wind this thing. Uh, going down without having to push it up. Yeah, with that, with that, yeah, going down is easy with the little adjustment tool. Going up is a little tough. I gotta go up further. <coughs> Getting near the end of the range. Huh. Interesting. This is all the way up. And then I'll bring it down if I need to. Let's see. Oh boy, not quite enough. Okay. Oh, I'll pull. All right, I, uh, it's a drill chuck. And I put the bit all the way down to the bottom. So I'm going to pull it up just a little bit. That ought to give me enough room. Okay, so swing it open. All right, lift it up, swing it open. Drop all the way down. Got a compact eighth of an inch. Yeah, I've got it set all the way down. I typically like to set bits all the way down, but it's okay to bring them up a little bit. I got my finger on it so I know where it is so it doesn't just fall in. All right. It up and I brought it up probably 
almost a quarter of an inch. Okay, I needed about an eighth. I was giving plenty of room to play with. Okay. One of the things you'll want to learn how to do is work blind. Use your fingers as your eyes. One of the skills they taught us when I was an apprentice. And they didn't really teach us, they just made us practice. But it's good to be able to have eyeballs in your fingers. Okay, let's get her up. So now I should be able to drop it down. Slide it up, put a little stop in place. Check my height. A little bit too high. Bring it down. A little too high. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a little high. One, two, three, four, five, six. Doesn't feel like it's going down. Yeah, it is. Okay, it's just a hair high, and a hair high is fine. So lock it in place. So this locks the height, so that carriage can't go up and down anymore. Let's double check that it didn't move. We are good. Okay, now I swing it this way. Uh, I have to, oh. I've got to redesign my fence. It's not deep enough for some projects that are coming up. Okay, so I'll leave this is about an eighth of an inch bite. I might have to redesign this fence so that it comes from the other way so that I can do wider. See, I was able to make this cut about three eighths of an inch deep, but I, if I had to go a half inch, it won't do it in that configuration. So I, I need to think about that. All right, so now I'm going from here to here. Remember yesterday when I tried to feed this way, uh, the bit is going like this. So tried to throw the piece uh, over to the right. So I need to remind myself that the something's off. Uh, it's not important uh, because where it's going to go, this is the part that matters and, and it, it's going to work. Okay, so what I'm looking for now, here is where I want this cut to start. Yeah, right here. So I've got this line here. I've got two lines showing me the width of the cutter. And so what I'm doing here is I'm lining up this line as I come in. And then I will cut this way. Yeah. Okay. It's about to get loud. Check your volume. Don't forget your face shield. comes the volume.
my foolish foolishness allowing it to come this way is a climb cut and that's dangerous so i gotta try and be more careful as i feed it in See the climb problem? Gotta avoid that. All right, so I got a, a shallower cup, the full length, and then this cut here, and that needed to be to there, so that's why I came back a little so that this would be in, inside. See that little curve? All right, uh, I'm gonna do a quick test over here. Sorry, you can't see it. Okay, I'm on the right track. I'm definitely on the right track. Okay. I have a weird configuration issue to deal with. Can I do this up here? I think I've finished with this cutting. Alright, so start from the beginning. Unplug it. See, I'm finished. Let's do some layout work. We'll bring it back if we need to. Okay. And this is where, uh, hopefully one of these days, I'm going to get organized and I'm going to build shelves all the way across there. And I'll have per semi-permanent places to mount my router table and my miter saw. And maybe even the table saw kind of in a row there for, you know, quote, wood processing. 
Alright. That will be later. Alright. Let's check up. No, I, that was the piece of wood. This is relatively flat. I was worried that I had a bubble in this, but I don't think so. Alright, so let's... Uh, when I leave this part, I like to protect whatever bit is in there. That way anything that accidentally hits it won't hit the bit. Okay. Uh, put it down for a bit. I think I'm going to have to use this again soon. Uh, Okay, release it from the base table. Took, took. Which means this should be loose. Let's make this shit easy. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Protect your thumbs, guys. I've now got arthritis in both thumbs, and it's a bitch. All right, so that should be able to come right up and head back over there. As it goes down, just see. Oh, let's put it this way. Yeah. Right there, baby. All right. Now, let's clean this off a little bit. Yes, one of these days I'll hook this up in a more professional way. to spend some more time to figure out exactly quote dust collection hookups uh, I'm gonna take these out for right now I think these might be in the way These are great, great little clamps go right into the table, but I just need a place to sit and think. Can you see down there? No. Okay. How about you guys? Can you see down here? Mm, not really. All right, let's get her down there. Okay, so now you'll be able to see my layout challenge. Piece of two by four over here. And that is perfect height. I've cleared that piece. Good. Okay, so that's what I need. There we go. Okay, I now need to cut some of this off. See, my slot is kind of in the right place. Uh, this is too high, it's going to go down. Let's see how 
hard look at the clearance. Oh, perfect. No problem. Okay, so there's no interference with this because it, it's even going to be down that much. Uh, quarter inch, three eighths of an inch. I hope. So now, now my challenge is, there's a little, is that what my challenge is? No. Yes, it is. Yeah, I've got to get rid of this piece here. Okay, so let's do that. It doesn't feel right. See, I always got to check and double check and triple check and plug and check and check again. All right. Uh, so this thing happens here. Starts here. Goes to. Okay, so starting here, I've got to go right down here to the mark there. That's good. So I got to get rid of all of this on the bottom here. That's got to go. Okay. That we will do with my friend the hacksaw. All of this. A little bit. Ooh, that's almost exactly one inch. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Oops. Good. Might be good. Let's see what we got. There's some hacksawing. Where should I do this? I'm going to do it over here. I need to get a new vise. It's a perfectly good little baby vise, but it's a little baby vise. Alright, let's get it more or less level. Yes, I do. Can you guys see this? I know you don't care about hacksaw technique, but whatever. No, you can't. Let's go. Where the hell is it? Roar over there. Oh, okay. Maybe you'll learn something about hacksaws. And your guys get to hear it. Okay. Hacksaws are wonderful tools designed for wood, but designed for steel, but they cut wood just fine. See how quick it did that? They're good. standing over here. There's more projects coming up. Okay, is that enough space? 
Okay, now we're just cutting right down this side here. We've got a line to follow. Whoa! Amazing how much leverage you can get when you're trying to saw it. You got to get it clamped good enough or it ain't working. All right, let's try this again. Okay, and 